Okay, welcome to Free of Talk and Taste with your host, Brandon Bass, my, co my co host, Mr. Cerebro, and my special guest, Etwan Moore. Welcome. So, um, when it comes to taste, what's your thing when it comes to taste? What, what comes to mind when I say taste? Taste. Um, really, first thing come to me, like, my, my taste is, like, my style, what I prefer, my preference. Okay. Uh, my preference of what depends what we tasting. What we tasting food. <laughs> I mean, you tasting a drink. Um, you're tasting style. You're tasting, I don't know, just, just tasting color. So I just think like your preference, like you know what I'm saying, your twist, your mix, whatever you put on it. That's why I started the podcast Talking Taste. I wanted to have that kind of range. Okay, okay. And um, I like how you look at it. You yeah. know, so um, we're gonna start this first quarter off okay. with a game called Like This or Like That. Okay, okay, okay. Then we starting off with it early, huh? We're yeah, gonna start, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna start. You usually get into it later. You start no, you start off hot. Off top okay. right now. And we're gonna talk about the first quarter. Gonna be about you know um, basketball, your favorite hoopers. Okay, okay. You know we're gonna we're gonna present. We're gonna throw two two ball players at you, and, and you choose. All right, that's a bet. Let's go, TJ. All right, so the first one, Kyrie or AI? Ooh, man, I know I know you guys gonna hit me with some heat. <laughs> um, okay, so which one I think better? Or which one I just like more? Which one it's I gotta? Is both. We wanna hear both. Give me. Whatever, however you feel about those two players. Oh man, both of them so similar. Like you can see when you watch Kyrie and you see AI, you can tell that you know what I'm saying he been raised and he done studied and he watched his moves and you know what I'm saying just his tenacity on the court. But um, I mean for us just AI just watching him just growing up, like man I used to wear two rubber bands and hoop when I'm outside just because AI did his arm sleeve. You know what I'm saying just because of him. So that's his influence and you know what I'm saying being able to look up to him. I probably have to choose AI, but Kyrie a beast though. Kyrie like that. Uh, we the same draft class, and he tough. I mean, I was, I've been playing against him for the last 11 years. I played in the league, so he tough. But I had to go with AI just because. You know what I'm saying he like tough for us, for my generation. He like one of the Godfathers. So right. I had and, to go and, AI. and one on one, who you got winning? One on one? Yes. Who you got winning? Ooh, ooh, that's <laughs> tough. That one on one, I gotta see. Like, yeah, I don't, that's only one. That's one of the ones. Like unless you like damn per unless it happens, like yeah, you, gotta see you can. It. Yeah, you you gonna argue either way. You gonna be like, oh man, Kyrie a little taller. Right. Um, Kyrie play a little bit more deep, and he's like AI faster. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's gonna you got you got arguments either. That's one of the ones I gotta be there. Sure. I want a front row seat too. Me too. I'll yeah. pay to see that. That'd be a ticket. That'd be that'd have been a ticket. I'd have paid to see that. But that's the yeah, one. no, that's that's that. That's a tough one. I don't I don't know. One on one though, I probably go with Kyrie though. I probably I might go with Kyrie, because only just cause he's a little he a little bigger. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, one on one, you gotta have a little bit more size. I mean, even though AI a dog, but I don't know. I probably go out Kyrie one on one. Kyrie one on one. Okay. I ain't mad at that. What you got? I ain't mad at well, that. Who, who y'all got? Hold on. Uh, who, Me. Who, 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 <clears throat> who you got? Uh, the question is for you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But I, I would you say. Got one -on -one. Uh, um, I didn't play against AI a lot. I played against him a few years. Right, I was on his end until the end of it. But I played against Kyrie a lot. And um, I remember when, when Kyrie first came to the league, I used to tell him, bro, I used to, you know, I used to tell him, like, when I see him, bro, you got everything, bro. Right, right, right. Because I remember one game where um, I was in Boston and, and – um, and you know we was going to Boston, and and I remember Rondo. This is the first game Rondo will attack the attack the game aggressive offensively. Hey, but I'm gonna cut you off. We gonna have to cut you off right there. Okay. The first time me and we came in the same year oh, draft you remember class, that? You remember? and the very first game Kyrie yes. came and played in Boston. Oh, in Boston. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. the um, I, I I started getting a little run. I don't know why somebody got hurt or something. I started getting a little tick. Mm -hmm. But uh, me and Avery <laughs> start. Funny. Me and That's Avery, funny. hey, me and Avery, me and Avery Bradley was uh -huh. was guarding him. Um, I don't know somehow we kept getting matched up with him. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that's the first thing he, he, he was getting up. We couldn't stop. We were like, damn, he got ripped through. He faking. He, he cooked. We bro. like, man, we ain't know he was like that. Like, we definitely know. We found out real quick, though. So, that's the game where I become, where I, real, where I realized that he was nice, right? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was like, young fella, nice, bro. Right. But when we got to Cleveland, do you remember when we went to Cleveland? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Rondo started yeah. the game off aggressive. Yep. Attacking the basket. You know, mm -hmm. Rondo usually going to get everybody else right. involved. Right, get everybody else And kind of get his offense going, like, you know, throughout the course of the game. Right. But he attacked because I felt like after the game, I felt like he kind of knew Kyrie was going to come at him. Right. And that game, Kyrie showed me that he could do everything. Right, he could post up. Oh, yeah. Right? He could get to the basket. He was getting to it. Right, he could shoot the tray ball. <sighs> getting he to could, it. You know, he uh, crazy in pick and roll. Because I, I was, I felt like I was one of the top defenders in pick and roll. And he, man, he made me, <laughs> hey, he made me do some stuff in the pick I'm and roll. Already, I'm already knowing. So, um, mm -hmm. if I had to pick between those two, man, um, I love AI, bro. But, uh. The fact that I ain't played so many games with AI, I'm going to I'm go with Kyrie. Okay, I'm going to go okay, with Kyrie. Okay. You, know? uh, you, uh, you can't lose either way. So either way, you ain't can't no wrong, Ain't no wrong answer to that but, one. But, but the cultural, like, cultural impact on the game on the court and off is, is, is AI for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, AI. But, yeah, what's the next one? All right. Next <laughs> one. Bird or Magic? Bird or Magic? Man, I will, um, bird or magic? Damn, man, you asked you ask me all the you asked me all the tough ones. Um, me personally, I probably like magic better just because his his, his game, you know, all the passing, big point guard. Um, I thought when I was hoop, when I was younger, I thought I was gonna be like a, I thought I was gonna be six seven, but I only stopped at six four. I'm like, man, I'll be a big big guard, pass and do all that fancy tricks. Mm -hmm. So just the just the style of the game, but Bird was cold though. But Bird was nice. Um, you I, 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 I probably say magic. magic. I probably say magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got anything with that? Yeah, I got anything you, anything you gotta, with that? Who you pick? Who you pick, B? I mean, that was a little before my time. I felt like I, like I ain't watched so many games of them. All right. But um, but if I had to choose, man, like I'm probably gonna go with uh. I'm gonna go with Magic, Magic. bro. A hey, six nine point. But I would, but, every I, but I would say this though. All like right. people, like all the time, be like, could X players play in the day and could dudes today play back in the day and all that? Mm -hmm. Man, I went back and this was my agent, Mark Bartlestein, bro. Mm -hmm. This was like two years ago. And he's like, man, I want you to watch these clips. I want you to watch these games. And he's showing me like the Celtics, like in '87, mm -hmm. and. I was watching Burr. I'm like, man, I did not know he was that he good. Was that nice, I right? thought he was just a shooter. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, yeah. I ain't know he can handle. I ain't know he rebound like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't know he can pass. I'm like, man, if there's anybody that today, like, he would be nice. Like, today he would be cold. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I heard three, he three, four, tough. Yeah. He could do everything. I feel like he won a few people, like, that played back in the day that today, if he played, you would be like, damn, he nice. He nice, He'd right? be like that. Crazy yeah. work ethic, too. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard he used Tough. to do like um, crazy like workouts like um, before games in the garden. Right, right, right. So. Um, oh yeah, he, he was different for sure. Yeah. Definitely different. So. And those those guys both game changers too. Like I feel like Magic and Bird was was kind of those those guys that made you um, you know want to watch the NBA. Oh yeah, they took over the eighties. Yeah, the, you know it took saying? over the whole eighties. Like um, the eighties was theirs. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It wasn't yeah. no debate about that. Right. They let it be known too, though. They yeah. was like, "Oh yeah, this this ours, that league ours." Like when you watch those at the um, they talk about the dream team and all that. They're like, "All right, Mike, it's your turn. It's <laughs> handed to you." Right, right, but right. basically saying it's really been ours. It's been our shit, really. Like it's been ours. Like, all right, now it's your turn. But yeah, yeah they they let you know about it too. That's one thing I do like about um, older basketball players. They weren't scared to be like, you know what I'm saying? Had that chip on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be politically correct all the time, just mm -hmm. being themselves. So, so who you I got? Appreciate that. Magic or Bird? Mm, I'm, I'm taking Magic. Take just because, because just because right. me, I, I thought I was gonna be a six seven um, guard. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason. You know what I'm saying? So all that little fastiness and passes behind the back and all that. Right. Like when I was younger, I used to want to do all the tricks and stuff. So sure. nah, I just say that just because of that. Sure. Mm -hmm. Magic, man. Magic. All right. All right. So our next one. Got? Chris Paul or Dame Lillard? Ooh, that's <laughs> tough. That's tough. But I got a feeling I know who you're going to go with. But let me, let's hear it. I know who Man, so let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm glad, I'm glad we on that. Like, um, 
Dame is one of the few people that I was a fan of while playing, like playing the game. Like, mm -hmm. so I, I saw his story and I knew it. And so like me, like seeing his upbringing and, and stuff was always kind of like, kind of similar to mine. And I'm like, damn, I'm saying I really messed with it. He came up, wasn't, wasn't known, was an underdog. And I'm saying fought his way through everything. And even to be an all-star, it took him what? Years to be an all-star, mm -hmm. he averaging 25 mm -hmm. and killing people. Yeah. So I always mess with his story. Um, I couldn't obviously I couldn't let him know that plan plan nah, against I him. I couldn't, definitely couldn't, couldn't never, no, I couldn't never let him know, man. But mm -hmm. I was always a fan from afar. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of the few people that I'm like, damn, man. You know I'm saying, mm -hmm. like we was on the same team. I could see us like being cool or kicking it. Um, mm -hmm. But that's tough. I mean, I don't know. Let me see. I played with CP3, Floor General. It's crazy because they two different players. Yep. I feel like Dame more score first, CP more like control the game. Mm -hmm. um, but you got to choose. I got to choose one? <laughs> Damn. You got to choose one. <laughs> who, I like, who I like better? Um, Damn, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I play with CP, so I, I get CP tonight just because he's my teammate before. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm going to give him a nine because I, I know him. Probably but that's politically than correct. Him. More, I'm probably because I it's, know it's him politically more. correct. Now that ain't politically correct. <laughs> Let me tell you why. That's a biased answer. That ain't politically correct. Okay, let's say it's biased, right? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't so biased. I, so I know, I know that. What you know? I know that you, you, you really want Dane because it's, it's basically you. Yeah, I, I, you know fuck with, I mess with Dane but, heavy. But TJ, it's just kind of tough. But TJ would choose Chris Paul without a doubt. You say without a doubt. Yeah, because nah. but the reason why because you a two. Right. Or like a combo. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And Dame is right, more right. like a. Combo, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and TJ a floor general. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, that ain't a politically correct. It's just tough. I mean, I don't know. The, obviously, that's, that's why y'all put them I mean, two because I mean, you know it's gonna be tough. Yeah, yeah, but they <laughs> both, 